being exclusive equals value. That's how you want to be approached, period. <laughs>
yeah y'all so i am detoxing i'm detoxing my body i'm trying to get healthy i'm going to get healthy i'm going to start eating healthy because health is wealth and how can i enjoy all my wealth if i'm not healthy right now i'm drinking a smoothie look if y'all can see inside i don't want to spill anything but i'm drinking a smoothie and there's cherries in it um cherries pineapples watermelon and water and pi i say pineapples and pineapples it's so good i've been eating healthy for like five days now and i feel so good so 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 good i don't feel bloated i don't feel sluggish i feel energized and i'm just i feel great and i think i'm i'm going to keep going i'm going to keep going i said i was going to do it for 21 days but i'm going to keep going longer than 21 days because I see the results now. My stomach going down. Like I said, I feel energized. I feel I can think clear. Like my mind is not like foggy. I can think clear now. So it's paying off, and I'm gonna keep doing it. Right now, I'm about to go down to eat some cabbage and potatoes, and then for a snack, I probably eat like a watermelon. I've been seeing on TikTok they they be having a watermelon. They be squeezed a lemon on the watermelon. I'm gonna try that today and tell y'all how it tastes. And then tomorrow. I'm going to get my head in because I'm getting ready to go to a um, concert, a Kurt Franklin reunion tour concert. He's down here. He coming down here on Friday. I'm excited for that. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet, but I think I'm going to wear like a dress and some heels. We went to the um, soccer game. And I think it was at the um, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Y'all, we had to walk up all them steps. I was so tired. I was so tired. I was so mad because they don't have no elevators. I ain't seen no elevators, but we had to wake up. We had to walk up all them steps, y'all, and I was so tired. My legs were burnt. That was my exercise for today. And I had on boots. That was my exercise for today. And I had on boots, y'all. Boots. Walking up two flights of steps. 20 steps deep. And all was 40 steps. I was so freaking tired. I was so mad. Like, where's the elevators at? Like, where the elevators? I'm, I'm getting up. I finally got up to the top of the stadium. Out of breath, couldn't breathe, had to get some water, was shaking, trying to get my dollars out. <laughs> was shaking, trying to get my dollars out. Girl, it was too much going on. You hear me? It was too much going on. So, this concert is at the um, State Farm Arena. So, that's two different arenas. So, I'm happy about that because I don't want to walk up all them steps again. And then we got our tickets late. So, we kind of in the nosebleeds, but we ain't good seats in the nosebleeds. We not, we not way at the top of the nosebleeds. We like right there in the front of the nosebleeds. So, we could still we still have a good seat. We could still see everything. So, I'm happy about that. I'm wearing um probably a dress. Um... I don't know how I'm getting my hair. I don't know how I'm getting my hair because I just had that wig on. I'm not wearing that wig. I might get another wig, but black, jet black wig. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to see how I'm going to get my hair. But I can't wait. This next week coming up is going to be an eventful week. Well, this week because today is a new week. Today is Sunday. So, you know, I know Sunday stuff for a new week. So, this week is going to be a very eventful, fun week. I'm going to vlog that whole day. Yes, I am. I'm gonna vlog the whole day because it's gonna be a fun day. Guys wanna be in the building. This is gonna be my first, this is gonna be my first gospel concert, and I'm so excited. I've been to all other kind of concerts. So my first gospel concert is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be extravagant. I can't wait. I got so many pieces I can wear in my closet. I just don't know what I want to wear. I don't know what look I'm going for. I know I want to be comfortable because I'm gonna be crying. I'm gonna be dancing, I'm gonna be praising the Lord. So I know I want to be comfortable. So, I'm going with like a skirt and a dress. Skirt or a dress. Either one of them. That's what I'm going for. I'll figure that out one of these days. Let me show you the skirt I'm, I'm going for. It's like a cheetah print skirt. I don't know where the freaking skirt at. It's in my closet somewhere. But it's like a little cheetah print skirt. Let me see if I can find it on Amazon. For y'all. So y'all can get the gist of it. I have this skirt. This how I look. It's in my closet somewhere. It's so cute. Let me see. That's how I look. But I was gonna wear like a little black um shirt with it with my gold accessories. A black shirt with my gold accessories, but I I don't know. 
in some um red shoes because you know she the print and red go together i don't know yay that's my first option my second option is a black and white dress it's coming i ordered it from fashion over so it's coming it should it should be here about tuesday and i'm going to show y'all when i get it when it comes that's my other option so it's out of them two options that i'm going for i don't want to wear jeans at all i don't want to jeans, wear jeans at all because jeans is so uncomfortable for me and i don't like jeans jeans is just hard and just uncomfortable so i'm not wearing no jeans at all and it's kind of cool outside so i want to look cute and i want to look girly so that's what i'm going for that's the look i'm going for i want to look cute girly and chic i'm in my grown woman modesty era let me show y'all what modesty dress it is i'm in my grown woman modesty era because i don't like the hoochie mama look i don't like the so much revealing clothes like, I'm going to show some cleavage. I'm going to show some skin. But I don't want it to be, like, bare skin. How the girls be wearing, like, the fishnets and the lace showing. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I'm going to wear it on some occasions. But not every time I get dressed. This the modesty dress. This the how, like, modesty people dress. Chic, cute, elegant, you know, presentable, like, a lady. Very classy. This one look of a modesty look like just very classy and cute and chic and like just wife material being approachable like oh she's a lady she's elegant and she's classy so we can work with her and it's all about like being presentable because if you dress in hoochie mama and you dress in like you are hoe people gonna address you as such like the nick i'm not gonna say the inverse the guys the HOE guys and the guys that don't value women is going to approach you like that. But if you're dressing in your grown woman era, then the guys that are elegant and class and handsome and respectful is going to approach you as such because you look as such. If Okay, say if I'm dressing like a hoochie mama. I got on a mini skirt showing all my ass. Got on a crop top shirt showing all my titties, showing all my piercings and all this. Of course, a, a nigga gonna come approach me and say, hey, what's your name? He gonna want sex because he see you selling sex, basically. He gonna want sex from you. If a woman dresses like a thought, right? If a woman dresses hot, you know, ass all out, titties all out, and... Just exposing everything, you come off as, you know, thought. Like, you really come off as if you just want everybody to see you goods. And you get upset with a guy that approaches you how you're dressed. I'm not saying it's right for a man to approach you any kind of way about how you dress. It's not right at all. But I'm saying, being exclusive equals value. Dress how you want to be approached, period. And if you're trying to fight me in the comments or you have anything negative to say, then check yourself. Because what I'm saying is 100% true. And that, it don't even go for just men. It goes for business relationships too. Networking with people. Getting sponsorships. People are about to click on your page and they see you dressed and half naked. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not going to work with you. They don't want to work with you. Because they see you have no class. You have no value. By the way you dress. By the way you're exposing yourself. Dress how you want to be approach not just by men but by companies too networking too building brands too building relationships too it's all about how you dress it's all about how you carry yourself it's all about being a lady at all times i don't care hood right girls is only fun for the moment classy girls and girls with class girls with knowledge and girls that are intelligent gir girls that are wise and well kept will override the host any day. I'm sorry. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Period. It is what it is. Don't argue with me in the comments because I don't want to hear it. I'm not into convincing. I told you what it was. Take the advice. If you don't want to take it, then keep being approached by bums. You know, keep being approached by niggas that you don't like and niggas that's always using you for sex. Period. But I'm not wrong. I'm telling the truth. That's why you're mad. I'm telling the truth. That's why you're mad.
Now they can enter convincing. Dress how you want to be approached, ladies. Dress how you want to be approached. Period. Classy, cute, chic. A guy of class gonna approach me like, hello, how you doing? What's your name? Let me take you out. And that's how you wanna approach that's why that's how you wanna be approached being a lady, you know? It's how you want to be approached. You want to be approached as being respectful. Everybody want to sell sex nowadays. Everybody want to be a hooch nowadays. Everybody want to just be saying, F a nigga nowadays. F this person. F that person. When really, they don't want that. They just doing what everybody else doing. But and deep down inside, they don't want that. Dress how you want to be approached. That's all I'm saying. Just dress how you want to be approached. If you want to be approached by a man that's not respectful, and don't have boundaries for yourself, then dress like a hoochie mama, like a HOE. If you want a man that have respect for yourself and going to approach you as a lady, then dress chic, stylish, cute, and elegant. Because at the end of the day, you are a lady. So be respectful to yourself. Treat yourself as such. I don't care what the music's saying. I don't care what these rapper girls saying. I don't care what these influencers are saying. I don't care because they're influencing bull stuff. At the end of the day, they influence them bull stuff. That's how you want to be approached. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to preach to y'all. Because me, as an influencer, I'm going to influence confidence. I'm going to influence being a lady at all times. I'm going to influence having respect for yourself and holding men accountable for being respectful to you and treating you as a lady. And if you see you not being respected as a lady, then kick him to the curb. He don't need to curve. He don't need to be in your presence at all. Because if you can't treat me as a lady and you can't treat me with respect, then why should you be here? Why? I can find me another man for that. And people keep on asking us, why you don't have a boyfriend? Why you don't have a boyfriend? Well, why I can't wait for God to bring me my man? What's wrong with that? Why? I'm not lonely at all. I'm saving myself. And that's a difference. Because today, I could text a man right now and say, hello, you want to go out? Like, you want to ask me up to be your girlfriend? They going to say yes. So it's no, it never give lonely. It never give lonely at all. It just give knowing my worth. Yes, it give knowing my worth. And it give waiting for my husband. It's giving health patience. That's what I'm waiting for. I don't care what people say. I talk to people. Of course, I talk to people, but y'all not gonna know who I talk to because they just be my they just my friend right now. I'm not gonna tell y'all my every detail of my life because that's not y'all business. But I ain't lonely by a long shot because if I need to get a man, some today or tomorrow, I could get a man today or tomorrow. Let's be clear. I can give me a man today or tomorrow. But that's neither here or there. I'm eating healthy. I feel great. I'm doing great. I'm being more consistent. This is fourth quarter. Like I said, I'm being very consistent this time. No slacking. All right, y'all. I'm done chin chatting. I'm done preaching. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And press that bell notification to be notified every time your girl drops. And I'll see you guys in the next video.